actually I brought the students to the Getty Villa to put into practice what they've learned in the unit. The Greek God and Goddesses unit that I'm teaching is part of my social studies class. We started off by researching Greek and Roman gods. We learned about their attributes, the mythological stories that those gods were involved in, and created a script for a Greek and Roman god talk show. We also did a lesson called See, Wonder, Think. Who can tell me what we do when we see an object in a museum? We examine it to see stuff that we never noticed about it. Good. Once we closely observe these things, how do we wonder? We ask questions about the object we are examining. Good. And when we ask those questions, what are we focusing on? We're focusing on the little details that we've never seen. The things that we can visually observe. Terrific. And the last step in See, Wonder, Think is think. What do we do when we think? We answer the questions that we were wondering about. Yeah, absolutely. That's where we're creating interpretations. Before I started teaching students how to look at art, I would take students to a museum and they would spend two and a half seconds looking at something almost like it was a, a rush to make sure that they got to see everything but didn't notice anything that they saw. But rarely have I found that anybody has taken the time to show them how to look at an object in a museum. So when I do see, wonder, think with students, I'm hoping to teach them something that they can use for the rest of their lives. We're in Gallery 104, Gods and Goddesses. There are several items on your worksheet for you to find and identify. So this is basically asking you to document your observations. What does document your observations mean, Sasha? Write down what you see. What does document your observations mean? Document your observations means uh, write down what you see. Terrific. Remember, you're looking for those Greek and Roman god attributes that help you tell the difference between one god and another. What does the word relate mean? Who can paraphrase relate for me? Relate means to compare. Relate means to compare, absolutely. So, I'm gonna give you 10 minutes in this gallery. You're working with a partner. Make sure you're talking out loud about what you see that you think is helping you identify a god or a goddess. Get started. The students have the graphic organizer because I wanted the students to have a place to write down the attributes that they were seeing while they were going through the process of the Sea Wonder Think, trying to identify a Greek or Roman god or goddess. Maybe to find an attribute of one of these jars. Poseidon has a trident. That's not a trident. Trident's like an oversized fort. I know. Here's Poseidon. I can see his trident. Yeah, and this is Dionysus because he's the god of wine. I see his great vines. So, so as our attributes, we can write Poseidon has a trident and Dionysus has a cup for wine. I was encouraging them to use their see, wonder, think technique that they learned to try and make sure that they saw the small details that would give them the clues that they needed to identify these mythological characters. You're looking at an item, and this looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, where did you see this before? In class during the see, wonder, think. What attributes did you see that helped you identify who this was? The attributes that we saw what is what looks like a crown and what looks like a pomegranate. All right. A crown and a pomegranate would help you identify a god or goddess as whom? Um, Demeter and Persephone have a pomegranate as their attribute. Had a po yes. And then I came to the table and I told you that that was a completely justifiable interpretation and that you'd done a terrific job. And then I told you you were wrong, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. So where did you go from there? Well, we looked at what we call the pomegranate a little more uh, carefully. Did you come up with another interpretation? It could have been an uh, orange or an uh, apple or... I, and did that help you identify this possibly as a different goddess? Yes, if it was an apple, it could have been Aphrodite. Okay, so at that point, um, do you know where Aphrodite got the apple from? Aphrodite got the apple during the judgment of Paris, during a competition to see who was the most beautiful goddess. And Paris chose Aphrodite and gave her the apple, symbolizing her as the most beautiful goddess. You interpreted the art, and you found out that your interpretations can be incorrect, and that's okay, because then we go back and we kind of go through the see, wonder, and think process again to help us continue to make interpretations. That's a terrific job. All right, so why don't you go ahead and write down the attributes. This is 
A couple of my students looked at the statuette of Aphrodite. They didn't know enough about the attributes of Aphrodite to be able to finish the identification, but they continued to come up with wonder questions based on the visual evidence that they saw. So they definitely had internalized some of the see, wonder, think techniques and they were using them. It's going to help them remember what they're learning, but it's also going to give them tools through which to work through the same situation the next time they see it. All right, so here we are in the outer peristyle, and we've got a statue that we're looking at. What do you see that might help you identify this object? Michelle? I see that he has winged feet. You see that he has winged feet. And who can tell me which god would winged feet be an attribute for? Annette, do you know? If you don't, you can say, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. All right, you're going to learn, though. Natalie, do you know? Wing feet would be an attribute for Hermes. Absolutely. And who can tell me why Hermes would need winged feet? Hermes would need winged feet because he was the messenger of the gods. Good. One of your items on your list is this statue of Hermes. So go ahead and write down those attributes that you identified. Winged feet, absolutely. What else do you notice about the wings or his feet. Can you tell me what else you see? I see something tied around his foot. Good. What do you wonder about? I wonder if what's wrapped around his feet helps, helps his wings stay. Ah, another way to wonder that is, are the wings attached to his feet or are they attached to what's wrapped around his foot? Can we think of a possible answer to that question? Remember, we're basing this on visual evidence. What do we think? an answer is here. I think that the wings are on his feet. What do you see that tells you that the wings are on his feet? Um, I see this wing is farther away from the rope right here. Excellent. Did anybody wonder what it is that's wrapped around his feet? Because that's what I was wondering. Jason, what do you think is wrapped around his feet? I think what's wrapped around Hermes' feet is like a shoe. A shoe? Okay. Back or, in the day, or a shoe from back in the day. All right. In modern terms, what would that look like? Sandal. Carlos, what does oh. this look like it today? It looks like sandal. It, they look like sandals, absolutely. There's so many things to look at in a museum. You have to tell them that your job in a museum is not to see everything. It's to look closely at the things that you find the most interesting. See, wonder, think is a technique for them to look closely at an object and learn more about it than they would have with a cursory glance.